Hi, welcome back to me and Monomy, and today we've got a little treat for you because one of our subscribers who I think lives in Cap Dye or Monaco, uh, a man called Kern, I hope I pronounced that right, got in touch with us and he said there is a real live life, a live Fiat Topolino in Cap Dye on display in a restaurant. So we're going to go to this restaurant just on the outskirts of Monaco and hopefully see the new Fiat Topolino in the flesh. So if you uh, were lucky enough to see our other video on the Fiat Topolino when we were comparing the Citroen Ami and the Topolino, you'll know that the, uh, the Topolino is Fiat's restyled Citroen Ami. But what we're going to do today is try and have a look um, up close and personal, as they say, at that restyling and see whether it's uh, worth the extra dosh. So we've managed to grab a bit of nifty electric parking for free there, haven't we, Mr. Boo? And we're going to walk down into Cap Dye rather than actually uh, go into Monaco itself because it's right on the border between uh, Cap Dye and Monaco. Um, and I think that's probably why they've they've put it here because I've got a feeling that the Topolino could be very popular in Monaco because much as people think it is the supercar capital of the world, and it is, there is also, or uh, there are, a remarkable amount of micro cars um, because it is such a small, congested, tunnely place that actually, in terms of getting around, they make more sense. I was reading an interview with Jim Ratcliffe, the Ineos guy who lives in Monaco, and uh, he was saying that, that even though he's launching this electric Jeep and whatever, and it's a big, big, expensive thing, that when he's in Monaco, he drives around an electric smart car. Wise man. Anyway, let's get down to this restaurant and see if we can steal a look at the brand new Fiat Topolino. To say, it's a very strange future world, this, isn't it? Of lifts and ascensors and apartment blocks and sort of craziness. Now we're sort of down into the the harbour at uh, Font Vieille or Cap Dye. What's, this is Cap Dye Harbour, isn't it? It's, it's very confusing. Of course, Cap Dye in France, Font Vieille in Monaco. Different countries, you know. We're on the border. So this is the restaurant Artego, and I think we can see it, Mr. Boo. It's parked outside. What an unlikely place for it to be. But it's very handy for us. How exciting. First time in the flesh, the Fiat Topolino. Wowza, there she blows. <laughs> so yeah, anybody who uh, seen our other video on the Topolino will know that this is actually a Citroen Ami, but it has just been restyled by Fiat uh, to give it that Dolce Vita look. Now, of course, they don't just do this version, they actually do a Dolce Vita version which uh, has an open roof and has little ropes at the side instead of doors. But this, this is the Topolino. Now there you can see the front lights. Again, I think they're the same as the Ami, but they're, uh, they're just restyled, so they look slightly different. You've got this little sort of silver bit of trim at the front. It's not a bumper bar, but it, uh, again, differentiates it from the Ami. And then if you come to the back, um, very different set of lights at the back, isn't it? Lozenge lights. Lozenge lights. And I think these are just reflectors rather than actual brake lights down here. Um, but it's definitely got that Italian vibe. Um, the material feels exactly the same. I mean, it, it is the same car. It's just, just been judged up. Yeah, you can see when you look inside, it's the seats are exactly the same, except they're white cushions. But um, I'm afraid they'll probably be just as uncomfortable as the Citroen B seats. Uh, and similarly, we've got restyled at the front there with the uh, uh, shade for the uh, sort of dashboard speedo. Uh, and of course, one big difference you've got is at the back. Uh, to, oh, sorry, shooting this from the back, if you can just see there. That is, of course, where you've now got reverse, neutral and drive, whereas with the Ami, that's, of course, down at the side. 
of the driver's seat. Although I think I, I was reading the other day that some of the newer models are actually um, have actually moved it on the ME to the center there. So there you can see the different Fiat styled wheels. I have to say, do you like the color, Mr. Boo? I love the color, it makes me want to brush my teeth. <laughs> you can see around the handles that there's still a gap, so they probably are going to need some me and mon ami uh, draft excluders. Fiat Topolino draft excluders they're going to need. Yeah, if you, uh, <laughs> you will be amazed just how much draft comes through those two little holes, the one underneath the handle and the one that surrounds the handle. So uh, check out me and Mon Ami for your uh, 3D printed draft excluders. The boo just spotted something in here, in that we think there are extra holes underneath, or sorry, should I say going through from the sort of dashboard down to the bottom of the car. We're going to check our Ami when we get back and see whether we've got them. But if so, I wonder if this is to allow more ventilation, which of course has been a big issue for this version of of, uh, of the ME with a full with a full roof, and this this Topolino cross has got exactly the same. They do get very very hot in the summer. Um, Did you hear that woman going in? No. She said, he said, oh yeah, it's just like the Citroen ME, and she said, yeah, it's the same shit. It, I think it's disgusting. Have a nice meal. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're disgusting. <laughs> Bonjour. Bonjour. C'est top, hein? C'est top. Je crois qu'elle est ouverte si vous voulez monter dedans. Qu'est-ce qu'elle est ouverte? Ah oui, c'est. Oh, super! Merci. 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 Parfait. <coughs> oh. Well, the nice man from the restaurant came and opened the doors for us, so let's have a look inside. Here we go. All looks very familiar to Citroen and me owners. Bag hook the same, but as I say, these are those two, th these holes that we're observing that maybe they're on the Ami, but I don't recall them. There's the forward, neutral and reverse repositioned. Um, and there this lovely white shade around the Speedo, the Fiat Insignia in the steering wheel, the white trim on the edges, and there you can see those uh, gaps that Mr. Boo was talking about that uh, where the draft comes in where you need our draft excluders <laughs> uh, and the seats the white trim there but uh, in all other aspects it is of course the Ami and of course the crucial bit you're all interested in is pricing well we were looking online today because of course you can order this thing online like the Citroen Ami uh, now in France and it's coming in at just under about 10,000 euros. Uh, and then you'd get the Echo bonus off, which reduced it to about 9.2. But um, what's the ME? The ME in the UK is 8,500 pounds. Right. And in France? It's 8,000 euros. 8,000 euros, so you pay more. So the ME is quite a bit cheaper than this. So you are paying quite a lot for the Citroen styling and of course, You've still got the 75 kilometer range or 48 mile range. You've still got the top speed of uh, 28 miles an hour or 45 kilometers an hour. In every other aspect is exactly the same. Now the Dolce Vita version of this, which they haven't got on display yet, which I think is absolutely gorgeous, but really is not very practical for British weather uh, and wouldn't even be practical for here in winter. Uh, that we think is also coming in at the same price. Same price. Which I'm amazed at, because I kind of thought they would price up the Dolce Vita. Obviously, it's the same car underneath, but it just has all that glamour and the ropes and, and all that, all that je ne sais quoi, doesn't it, Mr. Bill? Je ne sais quoi. I have to say, it's very gorgeous. There's no way I'm going to swap my Ami for that, because you're just getting the same car with some different, different colours yes. on the seats and some different trim. Uh, would I possibly swap it for the Dolce Vita version if it were more practical if we had a garage I think I probably would because for us six months a year it would be such fun to not have a roof because anybody who watches this channel knows just how hot we get in the Citroen Ami and how difficult it is to ventilate and we've tried everything. Wowzer we just we talk about rock falls occurring in this region this has just happened and this is terrifying I want to get through it but He's pulled down all this cable. I know. And he's gone through the fence there, look. Oh my God. 
and massively here, and it's taking the fence down there. Oh my god. Let's get away from here quick. Seriously quick. I must have missed that by, I think, I would say about a minute. Yeah. That had just happened. I mean, we were, we were coming up here, there was nothing. We, we drove on that road half an hour ago. Um, that's terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give us a like, please give us a comment, please think about buying us a copy, help support the channel. But most of all, folks, remember, stay charged. Bye.